Hi, it's Adrian, and I've been playing with uh, one of the new palettes that I got. And again, this is the time of year when all the direct store, um, again, on the direct store, they're releasing a whole bunch of new releases. So I uh, went ahead and started with the Elf Skin, the Wogla. This one is in Sunbeam, and I used uh, this one for my primer. I did go ahead and use the Salt New York. Um, the Sneaky Balm, which is this one in N13, and this is their lightest shade. Um, with the Salt New York, you can get that off their website. And um, then I also use the e.l.f. Uh, Cream and Camo Concealer. This one is in Light Peach, so that's what I used there. I did go ahead and use this Wet n Wild, um, and then I mixed it with... Uh, this Butter Glow, and there goes the heater. And so this is in Natural Glow, and actually comes out to be sort of a peach, a peachy rose kind of color. So that's what I went ahead and put over uh, the Wet n Wild blush. And I did go ahead and use a bronzer today. I got out the Cookie Bronzer. This one's in Sunlit Peach. You can get these in the Kroger Grocery Store or over at the Cookie website. And then uh, for my finishing powder, I went ahead and used uh, this one, which is the Translucent Glow. It's part of the Better Glow collection as well. And uh, yeah, that's how that one looks. And so this is the finishing powder that I have on. And I use the Heroin Glow 2 by Juvia's Place, this one, uh, for the highlighter. And then as far as getting into the eyes, I did use uh, the Brow Glue by NYX in Taupe. And that's all I have in the brows. And then the Essence uh, Volume Stylist and Sky High as far as uh, what I used for the mascara. I did go ahead and use an Emrite um, liner as far as underneath the eyes. And then I went ahead and picked up the Profusion Metachrome palette over at Walmart. And isn't this fun packaging? I'm just like, yeah, yeah. And uh, so um, as far as the colors go here, the ones in the smaller pans are actually the mattes, and then the ones in the larger pans are going to be the uh, multi-chromes, and then this uh, comes off as a purple kind of glitter. It's what I have right under the brow bone. It's not really a glitter. It is a multi-chrome. It's, yeah, it is a glitter. Okay, so, um, yeah, and then I have uh, this one on the inner corner, and then this one... Um, on the outer corner. Have a little bit of this right on the brow bone. And um, yeah, I didn't really use any of the mattes, but um, as far as the eye look came out, this is kind of how the eye look came out. Uh, these are going to be the multi chromes, and then I do have that center shade down here. It has a little bit of a pink sparkle. If you can see that. So these are the multi crumbs, and then these are going to be all the mattes. So I did go ahead and swatch all those. Um, there's that one shade up there that's just so close to my skin tone that it's not showing up. Um, but yeah, these are all the mattes, and these are the duo crumbs. And so this is what the palette looks like. Again, um, I just couldn't wait to start playing with it, and um, this one right here is a green that goes to gold, and then this one um, I have in the outer corner, and again this one I have right on the brow bone, a little bit of this, uh, or this is right under the brow, and this one is right on the brow bone, so yeah. It's a fun look, and I can't wait to play with them more. Um, they are just, yeah, you, you don't know what you're going to get, so you have to play with the colors to figure it out. Um, I did get a couple other geochromes from Perfusion and Single Pots, but I haven't really uh, dived into those yet. Oh, and lipstick. 
I am wearing a combination of this one from the Hocus Pocus 2 by ColourPop and uh, the Tower 28 in the Cashew. So uh, those are the two. Yeah, I have on there. Um, I'm having a real fun time uh, playing with the duochromes and figuring out how they're going to look. And so uh, I'll be doing probably a couple more looks from this palette. I uh, think it's really fun. The profusion formula usually works really, really well. Um, I had the Desert Sage palette last year. And I mean, probably that palette I went back to and back to a lot when um, to, you know, if a palette didn't have everything that I needed in it, that was a palette that I, um, the Desert Sage one was the one that I go back to to find the colors and the textures and things. So yeah, I think this is going to be a great palette. And I, yeah, it's going to take me a while to figure it out. Kind of like a challenge. So I'll see you later and have a good day. Bye.